Hi everybody, this is Crossbow Vengas. I'm the captain here. I got Dempster. Hi. I got Joe on the side. Hello. And Joe, could you tell me what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> wow. Oh, I waited God. six seconds for that, so. There's no better summary in that. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, so minus these things that we will just move out of the way right now. Aww. So, sorry, Joe. This is a focus of the thing, not, not them. So, <laughs> uh, the focus is this is the title booster 2 for Token Rambu Online. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the second um, title, booster. title booster that's mm -hmm. released ever. So, um, the function, function of it, the, it, it, it's sort of like a clan booster or, or a clan booster in a way whereby it focuses yep. on the one clan, which is Token Rambu. Uh -huh. Now, Token Rambu, uh, with this box, uh, the, 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 Tro deck, the TTD01 uh, for Tokyo Robo Online. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's released on the same day as this, right? So you can see on yep. the, the, the one when you can see the, the release dates. Mm -hmm. Um right? So uh for this one, um it boosts for the, the title booster and for the previous title booster that was out. So yeah. everything in here, everything from the old stuff, you can actually put it into the, the deck. The deck. They give yeah. you the, the title deck. Why what why do you have the title deck again? No idea, so but whatever. Anyway, I mean, I'm talking to a ghost right here. Maybe, maybe it's a good. Okay, right. So let's get to the aesthetics of the thing. So, right. so it's um pleasing. I don't know who's who's this on here. Can you get them? Mm -hmm. The second of the of the Ben's five bit. Legendary swords, I mean, yeah. Great treasures. Heavenly swords under the heaven, <laughs> something like that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something. Okay, I'll I go. With, a, I, I'll go with something like that, right? So <laughs> on the side here, you can see some of the other um, other something like that. <laughs> other something like that. So and yeah. then with um. Unfortunately, we don't know Tokyo Rambu very well, so I'm um, we're not too sure who did uh, ah until we open it up. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Joe knows ah, a bit more. Yeah. Than okay, so. I do know, but I'm not with my friend now. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank so you. front Tokyo Rambu, uh, cover Manga G, uh, Fifth Anniversary. Three and all that, the side here, just information now. Now in each pack, uh, there, there's 12 in a box here, uh -huh. uh, right indicated here. Then in each pack, you will get two rares, one of which will be a uh, single, uh, R, and buff. single R, R and a buff. buff. Yep. Right, so you can expect a second single R or you might even get something shiny. Yep. One of those two, which includes the tri double R, triple R's, SPGRs. But we see what we hit, so yep. Alright, so at the back here is just the other oh, stuff. So let me just open it up. What does it say here? Uh, Car 5 Vengaji title boost to Tokyo on Rumble Online. Too. How creative! <laughs> right, so. Wow. Oh, okay, they actually have a clan card of sorts. It's a, it is a clan card. Yeah, for yeah. Tokyo Rambu. So, what you have here is the. Mutsuno Kami Yoshiyuki. Yep. The love and of Sakamoto Rama. The love sword. <laughs> anyway, and the one I'm holding right now is Hotaru Maru. So this one was um, previously featured in Taito Booster 01 as well. So if you have the card, good for you. Now you have the real thing. Alright. And what I'm holding up right here, this is actually the, the, the card list. Uh, card checklist actually. So yep. uh, along with some of the other details about, about Tokyo Rambu, Tokyo Rambu um, in terms of Vanguard, not the, the game itself. And also, and also uh, deck builds as well. Yeah. And if you notice here, they also explain some of the keywords which um, we have gone through in our title trial deck, yep. which is Shinke Hitatsu and Homaru. Now, but not only right. that, they also included one more new keyword in this uh, in this set, which is Nito Kaigan. So Joe, can you explain to us what Nito Kaigan is? Um, actually, we can explain the cards come out so later. Uh, no, we want to explain it now. Okay. Yeah, so. so, Nito Kaigan in the game itself is where hmm. Uchikatana uh -huh. and uh, Uchikatana Wakizashi they do a link attack. So, okay. in Venga terms, okay. Alright, so, so we're gonna move this out of the way. These two actually have the skill of Spain, Izumi no Kami, Nanisada, and Horikawa, Kunihiro. Okay. So, so it happens. Mm, sorry. So, so far as we can see on the, from the Wikipedia, at least, wherever I read, uh -huh. okay, the skill kicks in when you know. One of these is boosted, okay, that's it, when he's boosted by a uh, Okizashi or when mm -hmm. he boosts uh, Uchikatana. Like this. So they're bonus skills, yep. Right. So a skill only procs when uh, Wakizashi boosts uh, Uchikatana. Yeah. Or vice versa, is it? Or it has to be that, that, that order. Uh, Wakizashi boosts uh, Uchikatana. Right. Because right. Well, usually, traditionally, uh, Wakizashi will use a support sword, so they're shorter. Right, okay. Right. So if there is a Nito Kaigan for, Uchi, um, for Uchikatana, mm -hmm. um, the, uh, it has to be boosted by Wakizashi, and if the, there is a skill, uh, there is a ni, uh, Nito Kaigan for Wakizashi, it has to boost uh, Uchigatana. Is that, yeah. you know is that right? Taken, you know the case. Okay, 
So we will, we will explore it um, in the future if there really is a request for for Toki Rambu. Oh, um, there, there's definitely request for oh, Toki Rambu. So we will feature it at some point. Yeah. So it'll take us a bit of time to, to just get to yeah. it. But for now, thank you, for, uh, thank you, Horikawa, and I can't remember the name. Bye bye. Yeah, show them show them the faces first before they bye bye. So bye bye. <laughs> all right, bring this back <laughs> in. All right, all right. So um, all right. So that is um the the new uh, keyword that uh, that Tyler Booster has. But for yes. those that are new to Toki Rambu, we'll explain the other two that they receive. Uh, the first one is uh, Shinken Hitsatsu, which is yep. uh, basically limit break 3. So as long as you have 3 damage in the damage zone, you can activate Shinken Hitsatsu skills. Yes. And the um, the other one is Homare. Now, Homare is a bit unique because uh, Homare skills, right, you can only activate one Homare skill once per turn. So if you have multiple units with uh, Homare, with the Homare ability, you can only activate one or the other. You yes. cannot choose both to activate at the same time because uh, uh. that's what Homare deems it to be. So those are the new keywords that you have to be familiarize yourself as yep. you play through uh, Token Rambo because mm. that's their characteristic. Yeah, right. So we're just gonna move this out of the way. I'm more kinder to this one this time round because I don't want to piss off any um, fans. You yeah. forgot this. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we move on to the packs right now. So the packs, um, uh, as always, it lost its SP shine, but that's okay because we are kind of used to it right now. Yeah, so <laughs> in front, you see the same as the, the, the box right now. Yeah. The name eludes me because I'm not a fan. Yep. And then the back. <laughs> <laughs> and then the back, talking around Rambo, then all the other information that yep. you get from the site. Hey, we have a clan symbol that's very detailed. <laughs> I, I really call it, that's not a clan symbol, that's the. the, the, the I don't the, care! The logo. That's the official logo. Alright, right. okay. okay. so with that said, let's get straight to the unboxing all and right. we'll see. Guys, a bit later. Alright, let's go. As you can see, this is the, the stuff that we hit from two boxes of the title boosters. As you can see, it's pretty empty right now. So, well, all right, so, so okay, wait. <laughs> all right. So, just to let you guys know, uh, we started a new uh, blog series on our blog, crosswebvegas.com. Uh, we have a new series called Booster Pack. Now, in the Booster Pack series, uh, you'll be able to see uh, uh, some of the cards that uh, you are not able to, uh, that we didn't open up in this unboxing video. So, if you want to find out what else that this box has to offer, you can head over to the link in the description below. You can head over to our blog post, the Booster Pack, for this, yep. and you'll be able to see uh, what it is that we missed, and maybe, talk, and maybe you can read up some of the stuff that, that we think that we can that you can get from this box in terms of builds and build discussions and all that other stuff. Yeah. Right. So with that out of the way, let's see what we actually hit right now. So all right. Um, let's start with the very first card that we got. Yes, I was about to say I'm very lost. Where should we start, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm an oracle. Anyway. <laughs> all right. So this is the the GR for this set. Um, his name is Juzumaru Tsunetsugu. Yeah, so it's a G Guardian. Uh, when this unit appears on the G, the Guardian Circle, if you pay the cost, which is kind of plus one, then so plus one. If you do, um, choose one of your choose one of your opponent's units that is attacking during the turn minus ten k. And if the chosen effect, uh, if the card chosen by this effect is a Vanguard, mm -hmm. during the turn this unit plus five k shield. Mm -hmm. So instantly it goes to a pseudo thirty k guard. That is insane. Okay. That is mm -hmm. wow, okay. This is one of the very few G Guardians that minus power. From Token Rambu, no less. From Token Rambu, no less. Exactly. <laughs> Token minus Rambu, 10K. indeed. Holy crap. Okay. So, so where's your zeal now? <laughs> zeal is like, nope, nope, nope. No, nope. where's your grandma zeal now? <laughs> <laughs> Powered up and went to Grey Chronicle. <laughs> okay, so next we have the longest spear ever. <laughs> I don't think it's the longest spear ever. <laughs> okay, one of the longest. Okay. He, okay, his name is the Japanese language. <laughs> no, no. Okay, his name is Nihongo. Right, Nihongo. There's a difference yeah. between Nihongo and Nihongo. Anyway, um, <laughs> I digress. Right, his skill is a GB2 Vanguard skill. Uh, Counter Blast 1 and choose one um, Nihongo from your G unit, uh, G zone, and flip it face up. So when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost if you do during that battle. Uh, for every for every rear guard that is in stand, this unit plus 3k. 
and um, your opponent cannot call sentinels from the guard from your hand to the guardian circle. So wow. Okay, okay. So you inherited Charlotte's skill. Kind of, yes. Kind of, yeah. So, uh-huh. um, not being able to, but you still get G Guardians, you still can guard with zero. So, yeah. there's still ways to, to, to get around. Yeah, you can guard well. with zeros and ones and twos, just not sentinels. Yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Yeah. That's one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'm not worth it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. So, let's move on to the next uh, one that okay. we have here. This is the. Ikigo Hitofuri Toku. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, why Toku? Because uh, there is a there is a first version of him in Tidal Booster Zero One. Yeah. So anyway, um, his continuous skill. Um, if you have uh, two uh, two or more Toshiro rear guards, uh, rear guards with Toshiro in his name, this unit plus ten k. Then if you um, if you have two or more um, this this unit, <laughs> your chisel face up. This unit plus one critical. Then his other skill is an X skill once per turn. Counter blast one. Uh, choose one face down card from your G unit and turn it face up. The, then choose as many Toshiro ve- uh, rear guards as you like during the turn plus six K. Wow. Mm. Okay, I'm kind of dumbfounded because for one, this one has no GB restriction and uh, none. The only GB restriction is the fact that you need to have more copies of him over in order to get his critical. Yeah, but and if you're not going for that, right, you can you can just basically flip one of him over to set up for next turn yes. yeah. and then choose as many um, Toshiros and uh, and add for 6k. It's yeah, d- so depends on your, your strategy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they think so should a huge family of brothers. Yeah, so mm. basically speaking, this is this is more for Toshiro if you're a uh, Toshiro build if you're, if you're making one. Uh. In mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah. <laughs> uh, but right. already. So like okay, next right. card. So next, what we have here is the Ugui Sumaru Toku. So his skill is uh, Shinge Hisatsu during your turn when your G unit strikes. Uh, choose up to three of your units during the turn plus three K. Then his next skill is when this unit appears on the Vanguard circle, you may pay the cost, which is color plus one, so plus one. If you do, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Um, search for up to one. Uh, talking, uh, search for one to one talking Danshi Tachi, uh, specifically a Tachi uh, in a race. Show it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. So, this is one of the very few, one of the few cards that focus specifically on the race of uh, Toki Rambu itself, uh, which previously not many cards do it, but more prevalent in Gear Chronicle for t- Zonic Time Beast. So, mm. this one is something like that, in that um, if you want his skill to function properly, you need to play a deck that is mostly Tachis. And it supports the the, the new uh, keyword that 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 Tokyo Rambo is getting in a way, am I right? Uh, no, that's not no, really. That's so, so. and Wakizashi. Wakizashi. Oh, okay, which so we will get to later, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So. All right, all right. Next, this is a reprint. No, it's no, not. it's not. Iwa, Iwatoshi. Iwatoshi Toku. Toku. Okay, it's a Toku. It's an upgrade. Toku. Yeah, it's a Toku version. Right. Of card. So anyway, his skill is a Vanguard Regard skill. GB one, counter blast one. During your during your turn, this unit gets the continuous skill. When this unit um. Hold on, uh. Okay, when this unit is attacking your opponent's rear guards or something like that. Hold on, let me read, it's a bit confusing. Kono unit wa ikai no attack de attack shita aite no unit to onaji tateretsu ni iru aite no unit wa sumete battle suru. Okay, so basically speaking, it attacks the whole column in front of it. What? Uh, if it chooses an attack, it attacks everything the, in the same column. The previous version also allowed multiple attack on mistaken? Yeah, multiple, multiple attacks, but in the front row. It's a bit like ah. Naruka um, for what can I say? Uh, Vermilion. Oh, yes. But this one instead focuses on the attacking column, which which is which makes a lot of sense because um, in Tokyo Rambo, the game itself, um, there are usually there are usually sword boys that can attack one whole column at a time. No, actually, he's the only one. He's the only one. Yes. Oh, okay. Then which oh, makes no, a lot more sense even. He's the only one. No multiple attacks. If uh. not mistaken. Uh no, some cards attack okay. one one row or one column whatsoever. But what yeah, I yeah. yeah. So but by anyway, the way, in any case, that in essence, wow. this one, in essence, just to <laughs> summarize it, in essence, this card can attack one whole entire column, yeah, Vanguard or Regard. So he can attack the unit at the back also. Then he has to guard for two units instead of the usual one uh, or the three if you are used to Vermilion's uh, style of uh, play. Yeah, which yeah. this card doesn't do. So yeah, that's a great four, right? I can't remember. Anyway, four. Uh, yeah. Okay, so anyway, let's move on to the next card. This one is a uh, Tarotachi Toku. Okay, this is very interesting because it's one of the very few. Uh, in fact, it's the only one that has a dual legion skill. What this means is that he oh. can legion with his mate, and his mate can legion with it. So they're both legion mates and leaders on their own. 
and they have very spe- very different skills. Yes, yeah. yeah, I remember this one. Because Correct reasons. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this is the first half. Um, this is one of the half. So um, this is a tarotachi toku. Yeah. So it's legion skill. It legions with jirotachi toku, which is also a previous print, uh, but it's a single R. Anyway, um, yeah. So it legions with tarotachi toku, and his vega skill once per turn. Shinge hisatsu, color blast one. And drop two card, uh, put two cards from your hand into the soul. So when this unit attacks the Vanguard, if this unit is in Legion, you may pay the cost. If you do during that turn, um, all of your Vanguards drive minus one. Then at the end of that battle, choose uh, stand all of your Vanguards. So it's a restanding Vanguard with a single drive. So you put two cards in your soul to feed the soul blasting skills, and also you restand, but of course at a price of only two tri checks. Which is interesting because if you pump it, if you pump everything, especially criticals to your Vanguard, they will attack mm-hmm. again. Um, well, who knows? And and, and I have seen um, its mid slash leader skill. Uh, it complements very well with this guy itself as well. Yeah. So unfortunately, yeah. we didn't hit it in the box so here, but we can yeah. check the booster pack to see what the other one does. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, and also one thing to note: um, they are both brothers, as I have met, as I have been noted. Yep. So. Yes, they are. <laughs> Yay, brothers! Okay, anyway. All right. So next is uh, one of Joe's favorite cards. Who are your cards? Sorry. Izumi no Kami Kami Kanesada, Kami Kanesada Toku. Okay, so this is the Toku version. I'm sweating so much right now. Okay, so this is the one that has the skill which we measure, which is Nito Kaigan. <laughs> okay, that was very weird way of saying it. Anyway, um, so it's an auto Vanguard Regard skill. Um, so when this unit is boosted by a Waki Zashi, um, during the turn, this unit plus 4k. Then his other skill is choose one card from your hand and put it into the soul. Um, when this unit appears on the Vanguard or Regard circle from your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, search the top, uh, look at the top card, the top seven cards of your deck. Choose a Waki Zashi up to one, uh, and call it to the same rear guard circle as this unit. Uh, uh, same, sorry, same, um, same column as this rear, uh, this rear guard, and shuffle your. I mean, say this unit, shuffle your deck. Uh, I got confused already. Anyway, yeah. Yes, you so, are. So this one feeds, um, feeds the the Waki Zashi. It feeds uh, Nito Kagan very, very well. Yeah. Yep. Even though the skill is simple, but. I tell you, the 4k means a lot. <laughs> yeah, 4k means a lot because it's, it's, it's a lot. 13k attacker, so. Yes. Then put to the back behind something that and power up as well. Yeah. yeah exactly. So you can easily break 21 quite easily. Correct. So. Okay, well, we will get to the Waki Zashi, but we'll go through the next in order first, yep. which is. Uh, this is. Yeah. Uh, what? Hizamaru. Hizamaru, yeah. Can't see. Anyway, Hizamaru is a Shinge Hisatsu skill, it's a continuous skill. Uh, during your turn, this unit plus 2k and the skill. Once per turn, GB2. Uh, when your drive check reveals a grade 3, stand this unit. Wow! wow. They're getting wow. more of this really. Definitely. A grade 2 that has GB2. Hooray! Wow. I'm more focused on that rather than the, the yeah. standing. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> a first. Wow. That's yeah, a first. That's a first. So, but GB2, so, so that's a hard. Um, you still get the, 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 the plus 2k, so it's a level k attacker as long as you hit Shingen and Tatsu. Yeah. The, the second part of the skill is as long as you drive check a grade 3. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, and, and by my philosophy, if it happened once, it will happen again. So expect to see more grade 2 or grade 1 GB2 cards. Anyway, <laughs> yes. all right. Next is the pairing for um, I can't remember his name. <laughs> all right, this guy's name <laughs> is uh, Horikawa Kunihiro Toku. Woo! Okay, yeah, yeah, Joe's happy. <laughs> all right. So his Nito Kaigan skill is a rear guard skill, uh, GB one. When this unit boosts the Uchi Katana uh, during the battle, the booster unit plus three K. And um, if that unit has a uh, <laughs> Nito Kaigan ability during that battle, this unit plus 3k. So, if this one boosts. Uh, Kanesan, let's wait for Kanesan. Kanesan, okay. If this boosts this guy, essentially this will become a 9, 7, 16, 16, 20, 20, 26k column, which puts Dorian and Claudus to shame. Shadow yeah, Planet players. Do, so. Shadow Planet players, eat your hearts out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and lastly, we have the PG for um, for this whole set. This is Mono Yoshi something. <laughs> Mono Yoshi. Sadamune. Was this? Sadamune. Sadamune. Yes. Yeah. Solo Chiro Sadamune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Good thing we have Joe also, so you can support the thing. Joe. Oh, Joe. Okay. All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah. So it's a Sentinel, of course. You can have more, uh, four more, and uh, it's a typical GB uh, PG skill but only from hand and you can only protect the vanguard. So t- take a note of that, take note of that. And his other skill is a Shinke Hisatsu, counter blast one, soul blast one, when this unit appears on the guardian circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the, uh, reveal the top card of your deck, and if that card is a trigger unit, add it to your hand. If not, 
put it to the bottom of the deck and counter charge one. We have seen this before and I won't say it again, this is very unique for PG because not only does it help you um, get the extra cards you need for guarding, but it also, if you do not uh, if you do not get a trigger unit, you put it to the bottom, it increases your chances of checking a trigger as well. In or, case you take a damage. Or you can just check a trigger and then just, if it's a huge trigger that you so so need, then you can just add it to your hand. Jenna, so so Kaiho! Then call this guy up. Yeah. Say yes. goodbye. Say hello to my 30k guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a way, so. so yeah. But Tokyo Rambo is like a once in a boost kind of thing. So, yeah. so um, they need to have cards that are. They can, sort of can last them for a few, um, few stages. Few, few boosts, few sets, whatever. Few sets, so, uh, so until the next boost to happen. So, yeah. alright, so that is the um, 14 cards that we have here. I believe it's 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, 6, no, 12, 8, 9, 10, 11. Eight? 12. 12, yeah. <laughs> 12. So, there's 6 in the, there's 6 fours in the thing, so, yeah. um, uh, with the, probably the, the GR probably taking over one of the, the double R's, I believe. I'm not uh, too certain. Yes. Yeah, because we got ended up getting GR and two triple R. So, I was trying to figure out how the, the math works, but. Uh, but you guys know what to expect uh, in this box now, at least for, yep. for for the two that we have here. Now, your boxes, hopefully you guys uh, have better luck with your own boxes uh, as well. So, good luck to that. And also, if you want to see what cards that we missed, again, I must reiterate, uh, do check out our blog post, the booster pack, right? The, the links in the description below so you can see yep. what we missed and what else we can talk about in terms of like builds and yes. play styles and all that other stuff. Uh -huh. right. And of course, do not judge us for that because we're not talking Rumble players. Yep. So we can only give our opinion at best. So if you feel that you have better opinions than us or if you feel that your opinions are more helpful, do leave them in the comments below because we would really love to know um, how these decks are played because this is a very unique clan. Yes, which we only seen it once and so clan. Clan. So we have <laughs> once we haven't been able to bring it in terms of that. So yeah. But uh, anyways, um thank you guys for watching. You guys enjoyed uh, what you guys see. Uh, if you do uh consider subscribe do subscribe <laughs> I'm tongue tied. Do consider subscribing to us at Cross of Vanguards. Thank you. <laughs> All right. If you'd like to see more of this, and uh, do look forward to the uh, the fight video that we have for the the okay. the deck, mm -hmm. uh, the trot deck, fight deck, and fight video, fight and also the unboxing, the, the overview video of the trot deck. Kit. Which is out right now alongside this video. Now this is double release, they released on the same day. So we're bringing it out on the same day as Just well. Like this. So okay. kind of like that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so um, do consider subscribe to us. At the same time, also follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook at Crossword Vanguards, we're on Twitter at Crossword VGS, and also follow our blog Crossword Vanguards so where you can find that um, multiply mentioned uh, booster pack um, uh, blog post. So do check yep. it out, we guys uh, enjoyed that. Uh, the new series that we have on our blog. Mm -hmm. So at the same time also do uh, consist supporting us on Patreon. Now Patreon we have put up some new stuff in terms of goals on our Patreon. So yep. you guys can check out uh, our Patreon, patreon.com slash crossbowmegas and you guys can check out um, everything that we are that we are hoping to do with uh, the channel and stuff which includes a uh, playmat giveaway. We've heard you guys, you guys want to get a hand of these playmats and you guys can potentially get it for free. But mm -hmm. Uh, you guys have to help us reach the goal of uh, reach a certain goal you know for us to do that every month so, so help do, yourself by helping us help yourself by helping us okay anyway. <laughs> yeah so uh, do consider going to patreon and do consider uh, supporting us as patrons uh, if you'd like to see giveaways happen if you'd like to see live stream happens also with us as well do uh, check out our patreon.com you can see what else we get there we got more stuff coming up down there we got more designs for playmats so you guys can have a choice of what it is that you guys want mm -hmm. if you guys win the thing but of course we in order for us to give away the thing we have to reach the goal and yeah. hopefully you guys will, will help us in that regard so uh -huh. with that said thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye.